I have an exciting thing to share with you. Hello, I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Sometimes I remember to say that. Usually I forget because I'm really excited about the pen. I am excited about the pen, but I remembered this time. So I'm going to be showing you this stuff. Oh, what's this? What's this? Ah, this goodness comes from Stanford Woods Studio Shop in South Africa, and they're launching a they call it Thunder Fund in South Africa. Uh, it's like a Kickstarter crowdfunding thing. And I have some deals, details to share with you that I'm going to read so I don't mess it up. Um, first of all, the pen is called the Impressionist Series. They're inspired by a set of paintings that we will find here. And this is the pen. Mine, I will show you in detail, but mine is inspired by Claude Noir's dance. They're all really pretty. So, they are really pretty. There's a lot of neat things in this pen that I think is, un well, there's one main feature that's really unusual, aside from the neat things of the prettiness and the super writing experience. So you get a lot of stuff, and while you look at the pen with your eyeballs, I will tell you, so Thunder Fund is a respected South African crowdfunding pla cam uh, pl platform and details of the specific reward tiers you can find on their campaign, which I will link to so you can go check it out. And so the original idea for the Impressionist series came from Eileen Smith at Illegal underscore Eileen. She is a brilliant graphic designer based in Australia. I do follow her, so I know who they're talking about. And with her blessing, they have been able to match each pen with a painting by one of the Impressionist painters. So they are making these pens and supplying them with Bach or Jovo nibs. It's up to you. So there's like, the, the goal is they would like to afford or fund the CNC lay they have purchased so that they can create more pens. I really like this. No guts, no glory. So I, I'm actually like, this is really cool because it's got some details that are really unusual in a fountain pen that I've never seen before. And it's really pretty, writes really well, a lot of options for you to look at. And I feel like, especially if you get in on the early bird, the early bird, the crowdfunding, like the pledge levels are totally reasonable. So thank you so much to Stanford Wood Studio for sending this to me. I am honored that you selected me as a fountain pen fanatic to share this with the fountain pen world. So I wasn't paid for this. I do get the pen and it's super pretty, but again, you get to decide if you fund a pledge or not. I think you should go check it out. And that's everything. So enough of my chit chat. Let's look at the pen and the ink and the details. And then you can go book and shop and pledge. So that's everything. Goodbye. All right. Now to the fun stuff. Um, there's a lot here. And so I'm going to go through. It's not really a lot. But um, I want to go through each thing because this is all part of what's going to be included on the crowdfunding campaign. So again, this is Stanford Wood Studio. They are located in located in South Africa and so they shipped this to me and and several other fountain pen fanatics so we could help spread the word and I'm actually really it's just really cool I'm really excited about this now first of all customs wrecked my package by tearing it open and they wrecked my ribbon and all of this stuff was supposed to as far as I understand like this was nicely placed around this box Mine didn't arrive like that. So I'm just showing you that it came as a very beautiful, complete package that Customs absolutely destroyed and then threw back in an envelope. Thank you, Canada Customs. But anyway, the <laughs> what is included is, depending on where you pledge, you'll get certain things. But I have the Pen Lover Package. And no, sorry, the Pen Fanatic Package, basically, which includes a pen, an ink, a four pen pouch, and a card. You can look at all the tiers and stuff like that and see what you are interested in. I'm going to go through each item and then explain a couple things just for fun. You know, it's it's awesome. I, I'm excited about this and it's quite unusual. So first up, 
we have a card. The card features different pens, and your pen will be in will have been inspired by one of the paintings in the Impressionist series. My particular one is this one, which is Renoir's Dance. Hang on, I'm just turning off my autofocus. Um, I mean my locked focus. Inspired by Renoir's Dance à la Moulin de la Galette. They're all beautiful. I didn't pick which one I was going to have to share with you, but to be honest, I it doesn't matter. All of them are beautiful. I would have been happy with any of them. And I have this one, and it's beautiful. What do you think? Which one... Which one expi- it, it excites you? Look at the pink and the teal. Oh, they're so beautiful. Anyway, so I have this one. And here is the pen pouch. Should you back at that tier, you will get a pen pouch. It's, uh, it's like slightly padded. You know what? And it's actually really useful. I don't want to open the pen just yet. Although you have seen it. Never mind. So it's very useful for toting pens. I'm actually going to use this for when I deliver pens to be nibmeistered because it's perfect and super cute. The ink is a 50 ml bottle of teal ink called the Gardens of Paris and it has been designed and made by Ferrera Road also in South Africa. It's a very pretty color. I've inked the pen with it. I think it will appeal to many. So there we go. It came, it did come bubble wrapped and everything. It was safe and secure, but again, customs. Last but not least, we have the pen. It comes in a adorable wood tube with the painting wrapped around it. And it was washi shut, so perfect. We open it up. I really liked, oh wait, no, it's PVC with wood ends. Fantastic. Very secure. And here's the pen. Ta-da! So you do get a lot of fun stuff with this. I think this is an awesome gift. Like, not just for yourself, but for someone else. Because it's very complete. And you get the awesome card. It explains your... Shows your pen inspiration. So let me move all of this. And then we'll come back and look at the pen. Here is our ink. But let's look at the pen. There's a lot of detail behind this. Um... A lot of it you may want to read about yourself. I think you might want to read about it yourself, like what the reward tiers are and all that kind of stuff. But what you get, you get your pen. And what I think about this is that it's very unusual. I think this is something, you know, it's, I love all the pen options out there, but this is different because I think these beads are just adorable little add-ons. So it's a pretty large pen. I will show you a quick comparison to other pens in a minute, but it's a pretty large pen. I promised to show you size, so here we go. Lamy Safari, Mont Blanc 147, same size as the 146. Twisby 580, Sailor Pro Gear, Pilot Custom 912, Twisby Eco, Opus 88 Coloro, our Stanford Wood Studio Impressionist, and a Mont Blanc 149. So definitely taller, definitely a full size, but not super thick. It's definitely on the thicker side than the thinner side. So I think I've kind of sized it well. I'm not going to unpost, uh, uncap all of these because I don't, I don't know if that really helps you. You'll see it in my hand and that might be the most useful. It's definitely a full size, not oversized. It's not super thick. My color is like a soft lavender um i think it's i think that's the best description it's kind of uh, it's got like it's you know how you got like vanilla bean and when you have something that's got vanilla bean it's got like specks of the of the bean in it like your ice cream it almost has like specks of lavender and like shimmer it's really cool it's hard to capture but it's really pretty so it's not just like a flat lavender conical ends that are pretty nicely rounded it feels nice now what they have done here with this little bit is dye makes the resin blanks dave turns them and cuts rebates into them then she places tiny japanese delica beads resets them in resin and then it gets turned a second time and i just want to make sure i didn't miss anything yeah so 
they make everything like this. Like, this is really cool. I think the beads are unusual and, and special. So we open it up. Very nice. All of this is really smooth. Section is crazy comfortable. So as you can see, it's a large pen. Not heavy. Uh, let me see here. Because it's wider right before the section, I think it's going to be pretty well balanced. It's like widest right here. Uh, you know what? I haven't seen if it posts. No, no posting. Why would you want to post this anyway? A cray. The section is a beautiful like purple crimson pink with pearlescent swirl. The nib is a Bach rose gold. So their, their goal is to have um, Bach number six nibs either with rose gold plating or polished steel or you can go with a Jovo polished steel. I picked Bach because I don't have a lot of Bach pens. P Bach pens that, or no wait, pens that take Bach nibs. So we open it up. It comes with a converter. I have not gone through the test of eyedroppering. You know me. You know I'm going to eyedropper it. I don't see any reason you can't. Very nice. Everything has been really well done. Like there's no weird bits or sharpness. The polish is nice. I just think it's really cool. It's really cool. It's special. And I'm honored to be able to share this with you because this is their project and it's really fun. So to give you an idea, the if you're like if you're wanting to know about the pledge rates, to start getting a pen, you're looking at like 155 plus shipping for early bird. I think that's really reasonable. Even if you don't get the um, early bird, you're looking at 170 plus shipping, and that's still pretty reasonable. So that comes with a pen and an ink and a card. That's crazy. That's actually really good. So. Make sure you go to their Fund to Fund, which is their uh, South African like Kickstarter, basically. It's, it's reputable, it's safe, and check it out and see what you think. But I think it's amazing. You can get two pens, four pens, all of the pens, and it's really quite reasonable. So fantastic. Anyway, I have gone on and on. Let's write. So the ink, first let's, do, let me pull this down. Okay. So we have Stanford Wood Studio. Um, I have, I've got the Renoir's. at Le Moulin de la Galette. The ink is Stanford Wood Studio. Sorry. The Gardens of Paris. How does that ink look? Beautiful. It is a nice teal with dark, darker teal. So it's like, it's definitely on the teal spectrum with red sheen. A very pretty color. I like it. So I have a delectable, okay, that was not a good example. A delectable, juicy writer here. I love it. So nice, so juicy. This nib is just sweet. pretty broad. I mean, if you've used Bach and Jovo, you kind of know what to expect, but it's always nice when it actually writes really, really nice. I'm not going to do line variation, really, because they're firm nibs, but what you'll get is just a bit wetter ink flow. Free weight sails through that. Reverse. You can reverse. It's a little sharp on the side stroke, but downstroke is fine. I mean, you could do it. It's not amazing. Um, super smooth, really pleasant. I'm just like, 
just excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited because it's so broad and delicious. Seven wildly panting fruit flies. All right, very smooth, very delightful, quite comfy. I actually find that I'm holding it like closer to the back of the section, which I don't always do. Probably just gets a longer pen. Hello, lovely. Lovely. I'm just writing nonsense because I can. Because I can. Okay, let's do some different anglage. <laughs> Is the Stanford Wood Studio Impressionist Series Fountain Pen on Thunder Fund right now. Thank you so much to Stanford Wood Studio for sending this to me. I mean, the idea is that I help them get the word out, and it's a pleasure to receive such a lovely pen. I really enjoy it, and I hope you will check out the Thunder Fund and get one for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Let me know if you've checked it out, if you're excited, which one you like, what you'd like to see, all of that stuff, all of the, the stuff, whatever. And uh, that's everything. We're gonna wrap it up. Enough of me, go check it out. Thank you so much, we'll see you next time. Bye. I think that was the winner.